Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'll be talking about basic battle mechanics in Axie Infinity. Before you can even play the game, you have to arrange or form your team of three axes. While setting up your lineup, you will have to place axes in a certain spot in the lineup. This actually determines how your axes target enemies and also how enemies will target your axes. Usually, a team will have one tank and two damage dealer axes. A tank is a high defensive or high sustainable axe. It should have health above 50, high shield skills, or have healing abilities. You should place the tank in the front and have your other two axes in the back. If you do this, enemies will have to attack the front axis first before attacking the ones at the back. If your opponent has two axes that are in the same column, with one on top and one on the bottom, then the target priority is dependent on where your axe is placed. If your attacking axe is on the top, then it will hit the top opponent. If your axe is in the middle row, then there is a 50-50 chance to hit either the top or bottom opponent. If your axe is in the bottom row, then it will hit the bottom opponent. Positioning is important, as you want your damage dealers at the back to live as long as possible. Now let's talk about Axie stats. Each Axie has 4 stats, health, speed, skill, and morale. Health is the amount of damage your Axie can take before being knocked out. Speed is what determines which Axie acts first. The higher the speed, the higher you are on the turn order priority. If two Axies have equal and or the same speed, then it will follow this order to determine which one will go first. Higher speed, lower health, higher skill, higher morale, and finally lower fighter ID. Skill adds additional damage when a combo or multiple cards slash abilities are played by an Axie in a turn. The additional damage can be compounded using this formula. Card divided by ability attack times skill divided by 500. Morale is basically the luck factor. It increases the critical strike chance of each attack. Furthermore, it increases the chance of entering the last stand state and adds more last stand turns. Last stand will happen if the following condition is true. Final blow damage minus remaining HP is less than remaining HP times morale divided by 100. Here on the Axie screen, aside from the stats, you can also see the Axie's card or abilities. For each card, you can see the following. Energy cost. This is how much energy this card will use in battle. As of now, there are two one and zero cost cards. The only one card that costs 2 energy is Strawberry Shortcake. Attack slash damage. This is how much damage this card will do to your target's health points and shield. Shield. This is how much shield this card will grant your Axie when you use this card. An Axie that attacks has to destroy the shield first before reducing the target's health points. Some debuffs such as Sleep and Stun will ignore the enemy shield and just attack the HP of the Axie. Description. This explains the card effects. There are many mechanics that are found in each ability, so make sure to read them every time. Each ability is tied to four body parts, horn, back, mouth, and tail. Furthermore, the color of the card will show you which class it is from. Red is bug, blue is aqua, green is plant, violet is reptile, pink is bird. Finally, yellow is beast. As you may have read in some skill descriptions, there are a few terms that I should explain. A combo. This means that two or more cards are played by a single Axie. Combos add damage based on the stat skill. Some cards that change target priority need to be used first in a combo to take effect, such as Dark Swoop. A chain. This means that two or more Axies use cards of the same class. Chains increase the shield of Axies in the chain. Some cards are required to chain the same card. For example, the card Bug Signal. It says that it will steal energy from the opponent if chained with another Bug Signal card. This means that Axie A and Axie B will both use a card called Bug Signal in order to chain them together. Priority. Priority allows you to target a specific target instead of hitting the enemy in the front of the line. For example, the card Dark Swoop allows you to hit the opponent's fastest Axie regardless of its position in the battle. However, in order to utilize the priority, it must be used first in the combo. If you use Dark Swoop, then another skill, let's say Risky Feather, then you will hit the opponent's fastest Axie, but if you use Risky Feather first and then Dark Swoop, then you will just hit the opponent in the front. A Critical Strike Some cards will increase the chance of doing a critical strike, but every card has a chance to crit. This will depend on an Axie's morale stat. When you do a critical strike, it will do double the damage. We should also talk about buffs and debuffs found on the description of these cards. There are two kinds of buffs and debuffs, 
stackable and non-stackable. Some effects stack only when it lasts for two rounds or when two stacks are received from a card effect. An example could be Risky Fish. It increases the damage of the next attack. Using this card twice will not stack the buff. Stackable buffs or debuffs means that your axes can be affected by the buff or debuff multiple times. The buff or debuff lasts either a round, turn, or sometimes lasts forever unless you remove it using another skill card. For example, attack up is a stackable buff. So if you have attack plus one, then your attack goes up by 20% for the next attack. But if you have attack plus two, then it goes up by 40%. Non-stackable buffs or debuffs are the opposite. You can only be affected once. If you are stunned and then you get a new stun applied, it will just replace the previous stun debuff. Okay, now we can go through the buffs one by one. Attack up, increase attack by 20% stackable morale up increases morale by 20 percent stackable speed up increases speed by 20 percent stackable now for the debuffs attack down decreases attack by 20 percent stackable morale down decreases morale by 20 percent stackable speed down decreases speed by 20 percent stackable aroma opponents will target the affected axie for the round non-stackable chill affected axie cannot enter last stand non-stackable I want it! You're trespassing on my property! You didn't win sh in my yard! Wait, 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 I, wait, wait, wait. All of you! Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? Yeah, Get everybody out of my yard! Fear. Affected Axie will miss its next action. This can be removed if you use a defensive ability, as you cannot miss if you do zero damage. Non stackable. Fragile. Affected Axie's shield takes double the damage for the next attack it takes. Non stackable. Jinx. Affected Axies won't be able to land a critical strike for the round. Non stackable. Lethal. Next hit against Axie is guaranteed to be a critical strike. Non stackable. Poison. Affected Axie loses 2 HP per stack for every action by all Axies in the battle. It can only be removed by using a debuff removing skill like Biden's. Stackable. Sleep. When affected Axie is attacked, the damage it receives will ignore the shield. Non stackable. Stench. Affected Axie loses target priority for the round, which means if you apply stench to the front target and you attack, you will hit the target behind that one. This debuff can be effectively applied by the fastest Axie on a team. Stunned. If affected Axie attacks, it will miss and remove the stun debuff. If affected Axie is hit by an attack while stunned, it will ignore its current shield then remove the debuff. Stun is a combination of sleep and fear together. Now that we know about abilities, we can move on to classes. There are nine classes in Axie Infinity. Aquatic, Beast, Bird, Bug, Plant, Reptile, Mech, Dawn, and Dusk. Each class is strong and weak against different Axie types. Here's the rock, paper, scissors chart so you can see which Axie classes have an advantage or disadvantage against which other ones. If you attack an Axie using a card that has a class advantage against the defender's Axie body class, you will deal 15% more damage. While if you attack an Axie with a card that is weak against the opponent's body class, then you will deal 15% less damage. Furthermore, if you use a card or ability that is the same class as your Axie, then it will grant 10% more attack and shield. For example, if my bug Axie uses Terror Chomp, then instead of doing 120 damage and granting 30 shield, it would actually do 132 damage and 33 shield. These bonuses can actually stack. So if my bug Axie uses Terror Chomp on a Reptile Axie, then it will do an additional 30 damage. See, here's the math. 120 times 15 plus 10% equals 30. Let's check the interface you will see when you battle for the first time. As you can see, my axes are positioned the same way as I arranged earlier in this video. On the upper side, you can see the turn order bar. This automatically arranges the turn order on which axes will go first according to their speed. On the bottom left corner, you can see your battle energy. And here in the bottom side, you can see the cards you drew and which axis cards it is. On the first turn, you will draw six cards and have three energy to start. But each successive turn, you will only draw three cards and replenish two energy. You can click your opponent's axes and see their axes cards. You should do this at the start of the battle to see what abilities they have and strategize your playstyle around that. Now that you know the basic mechanics of battles, it is now up to you to identify synergies and combos to build your team. Just keep playing and checking your opponent's axes to learn how to counter and fight certain teams. Also, know when to sacrifice your axes. You can do a bigger combo on the next turn. And finally, remember to have fun. Losing is a part of the process in order to becoming a better player. Thanks for watching everyone. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.